Hey, good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Christina San Juan, and I wanted to do an in-depth look at our forecast for our severe storm potential that we've been talking about for several days now. And as the time gets closer, we get a little bit more confidence in what exactly we can expect to see as we head into our Sunday evening. We have been upgraded in Kentucky to a risk level three, which is called an enhanced risk for severe weather. That's that color uh, shaded in orange there. Aside from that, we have of southern indiana in a lower risk but still a level two of five is that one is called a slight risk so really no matter where you're at in kentuckiana you do have somewhat of a risk to see any of these storms tomorrow become strong to potentially severe as we look off to our northwest that's where that system's rotating right now the low pressure it's going to continue to inch our way as we head into the overnight hours outside right now here around 7 30 8 o'clock on your saturday night it's pretty quiet and we're going to stay that way at least for a few more hours by tomorrow morning we'll have this line of showers and a few rumbles of thunder rolling on through but i'm not expecting to see that become severe just your garden variety showers and a few rumbles of thunder maybe some gusty winds at time uh, around 30 to 40 miles per hour as we take you along to about eight o'clock i expect those showers to be out of here and then we can see those temperatures absolutely take off as we head into the afternoon we'll have all of that sunshine warming us into the lower 90s in many spots my high tomorrow in louisville is 93 degrees so we are going to have clear skies and warmth into the afternoon but don't let that fool you because later on in the evenings when we can expect those showers and storms with the severe potential to be showing up for us. So this is right around six o'clock. We get them going in Southern Indiana and that'll continue to develop over the course of the evening. So by 7.30, I'd expect it to making its way through the city and continuing to crank its way quite quickly down to the Southeast. This continues until about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. And so I'd say the primary timing that we can expect these storms will be from five to 11 is when we need to be staying absolutely weather aware because these are the main threats we're talking about. We do have all modes of severe weather that are on the table. However, the primary threats damaging wind where we could see wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Also large hail up to the size of a golf ball. You'll wanna make sure that you get those cars inside of the garages and lock up any loose outdoor items because how strong that wind is going to be and because the potential for hail is, is up there. It's one of our biggest threats tomorrow. Heavy rain, yeah, it's going to be around, but I do think it's going to be rather short-lived because the storms are going to be fast movers, as well as that tornado threat. It's not our primary concern, but still, we could have an isolated tornado or two with the setup that we're seeing. So the bottom line here is that we are going to deal with the two rounds of showers and storms tomorrow. The first round goes through in the morning, not expecting that one to become severe, but could carry some gusty winds. We'll dry out in the afternoon and then we'll have that severe potential with the main storm that comes through after five o'clock Sunday evening. So that timing there, you can see it right there on your screen, five to 11 p.m. And also a very important note is that you'll wanna have at least at a minimum two different different ways to receive alerts on your phone. So we're talking a uh, weather radio, uh, have our app downloaded and that alert will get straight to your phone if any watches or warnings are issued. And of course, if there aren't tornado warnings issued, then we are going to be on TV. We'll be streaming on all social media platforms and I believe we'll also be on the app as well. In the case that you do lose service or you lose electricity rather, you wanna make sure you have your phone charged up beforehand and go ahead and put blankets, pillows, everything you would need in your safe spot away from windows and doors, preferably in the basement and the lowest level of your home. We'll be here every step of the way, keeping you updated and bringing you the latest as we get continue to get more information. For now, I'm meteorologist Christina San Juan. I'll see you guys on the night team.